A sheriff's deputy shot in the face three months ago is speaking publicly for the very first time. Deputy Ruben Garcia was pulling a man over after a domestic violence call when he was ambushed. Fields Mosley has, uh, joins us now. Fields, this was uh, not just a chance to hear from Deputy Garcia, but also a young man who jumped in to keep him alive. Uh, yeah, it was a great opportunity today to talk to everybody involved, Patty. And we certainly learned today that Deputy Garcia, he is a quiet guy, not a man who seeks the limelight. The 29-year-old law enforcement veteran was simply stopping a driver to talk at that point when things quickly got out of control. I was cautious. I, I was, you know, my training goes back to my training. I keep an eye on their hands, you know, and wash their hands. Deputy Ruben Garcia made a traffic stop in this Peoria parking lot shortly after midnight, January 8th. He doesn't remember the bullets that tore through the left side of his face. I don't feel regular. I, I, people say I, I look normal, but, but uh, inside, I, I feel like I'm wearing a mask. He's since learned the man he pulled over, 54-year-old Donald Miller, fired the shots and later died in a shootout with other officers. He's had a lot of help since then, from doctors to fellow deputies. They did a great job. They, I, I, they have my total respect, my total love. And today he also met this young man who jumped into action in that dark parking lot after a witness screamed. She had looked me in the eye and pretty much screamed to me, he's been shot, he's been shot, he's been shot. Andrew Phelps saw what was happening and used his lifeguard training until more help arrived. I did CCC, is otherwise known as constant chest compressions. Um, pretty much what you do is you just keep the blood flowing to the brain. For his quick action that morning, Sheriff Joe Arpaio awarded Phelps with a sheriff's commendation. We really appreciate it, all of us at the sheriff's office. And as for Deputy Garcia, he admits not liking the doctor's appointments and a face that doesn't feel quite right. At 49 years old, he longs to get back to work. The people I work with, the people I serve, that's, that's what I love. As you can see, very soft-spoken. Deputy Garcia likely facing more surgeries, and his vision in his left eye still isn't back to normal. He could retire after so many years of service, but says he would rather get back on the job. We'll let you know what happens. Patty.